So here we have a compound 3D shape. Now, in order to work out the volume of a compound 3D shape, all we need to do first is to work out the cross-sectional area. So this area here, we work out this cross-sectional area, and then we multiply the cross-sectional area by the width, or you can say the length, of the shape, this dimension here. So work out the area of the cross-sectional piece here. How do we do this? Well, as you can see, this is a compound shape. So what we need to do, we need to split this into two pieces, as you can see, two rectangles. And so the area of this piece there, clearly, is just 10 times the width of the rectangle, which is clearly 3 centimeters. So the area of this rectangle here is just 10 times 3. So that's 10 times 3, which is just equal to 30 centimeters squared. And the area of this piece here is just the dimensions of this piece here are, or well, the height of this rectangle is four centimeters. And the width of this rectangle here must be three centimeters. How do I know it's three centimeters? Well, if the total length here is six centimeters, and this piece here, this dimension here is three centimeters, well, the remaining, the, the difference here must be three centimeters. So the area of this piece here is just three times four, which is equal to 12 centimeter squared. Now, the total area now of the entire piece here, the entire shape there, it's just the sum of these two values that we've worked out. So it's just the total area is just 30 plus 12, which is equal to 42 centimeters squared. Now that we have the area of the cross-sectional piece, all I need to do now is multiply that by the width of the 3D shape. The width of the 3D shape is 2, so I multiply that by 2 to work out the volume of the compound shape. So it's 42 times 2, which is equal to 84. And my units volume are centimeter cubed, and that's the volume of this 3D compound shape. So here we have another compound 3D shape where we have a cuboid that has a triangular prism missing in the middle. Now, in order to work out the volume of this shape, all I need to do once again is to work out the cross-sectional area, so this area here, and then multiply this cross-sectional area by the width of the cuboid. Now, how do I work out the area here, this shaded area? All I need to do is just work out the area of the rectangle, the entire rectangle, and the area of the entire rectangle will be just the base of the rectangle multiplied by the height. The height is clearly 4 meters, so that's 5 times 4, which is equal to 20 square meters. And then what I need to do, I need to work out the area of the triangle here. And the area of this triangle here is just Remember the formula to work out the area of a triangle is just base times height divided by 2, base times height divided by 2. The base of this triangle is 3 meters, the height is 2, 
betas. So the area of this triangle is just 3 times 2 divided by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that's 3 meters squared. So now what I need to do, if I subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the rectangle, I'm left with this shaded part here, the area of the shaded region here. So if I do the area of the rectangle, which is 20 square meters, 20 meters squared, minus the area of the triangle, I'm left with the area of this shaded region, the cross-sectional area, which is equal to 20 minus 3 is just 17, so that's 17 meters squared. And now what I need to, now that I have the cross-sectional area, I need to multiply that by the width of the shape. The width of the shape is 6 meters, so the volume is equal to, volume is equal to 17 times 6. Now, I can do this in my head. 10 times 6 is 60. 7 times 6 is 42. 60 add 42 is 102 meters cubed because the volume, the units of volumes are always cubic. They're always cubed. So the volume of this compound 3D shape is 102 meters cubed. Okay, so now let's do another question. So here we have another compound shape, a compound 3D shape, and in order to work out the volume of this shape, all you need to do, once again, is to just to work out the cross-sectional area here, so this cross-sectional area here. And then multiply the cross-sectional area by the width of the shape. So the width, or you can say the length of the shape, is 4 millimetres. Now, how do I work out this cross-sectional area? How, how do I work out this cross-sectional area? All I need to do is just to work out the area of this rectangle here, the rectangle is 10 millimetres by 6 millimetres, and then subtract the area of this smaller rectangle here. And that will leave me with the yellow cross-sectional area. So, the area of the big rectangle is just 10 times 6, which is just 60 millimeters squared. And the area of the smaller rectangle here, this smaller rectangle here, is just 7 by 2, 7 times 2. 7 times 2, which is 14 millimetres squared. And now what I need to do, I need to subtract the area of the smaller rectangle from the larger rectangle to leave me with the remaining area here, the cross-sectional area. So, subtracting the two, I'm left with 0 take away 4, can't do that, so borrow from there, that becomes a 5, 10 to the 4 is 6, 5 to the 1 is 4, so that's 46, 46 millimetres squared. That's the area of the cross-sectional area, this area here. Now that I have the cross-sectional area, all I need to do is just multiply that by the width of this shape, so 46 times the width here, which is 4 millimetres 46 times 4, um, 40 times 4 is 
160, 6 times 4 is 24, 160 plus 24, that's 184. And don't forget, the units are always cubic. When we're talking about volume, the units are always cubic. So the volume of this compound 3D shape is just 184 millimeters cubed, and we're done. So just to summarize what we've learned here, to work out the volume of a compound 3D shape, all you need to do is to first to work out the cross-sectional area of the shape, and then multiply the cross-sectional area by the width of the 3D shape, which will give you the volume, and you're done.